Ever notice how your FPS counter looks fine but the game still feels heavy, delayed, or inconsistent? Mouse movement feels slightly off, animations don't feel crisp, and frame pacing feels uneven even on a powerful system. That's not your GPU, and it's not raw CPU speed either. The real culprit is memory latency at the system level. RAM isn't just about capacity or advertised megahertz, it's about how fast your system can respond to memory requests, and Windows does a surprisingly poor job of optimizing that for gaming out of the box. Even high-end PCs often run with unnecessary memory delays baked in. In this video, we're fixing that, safely. This is part two, so we're skipping aggressive overclocking and focusing on measurable real-world latency reductions using one safe BIOS adjustment, Windows memory behavior fixes, registry level optimizations, latency monitoring and validation. No unstable tweaks, no placebo settings, just real improvements you can feel. Before we start, quick safety note. Anytime you touch BIOS or the Windows registry, create a restore point first. Also, take a photo of your current BIOS memory page so you can revert instantly if needed. Stability always comes first. All right, let's get into it. Step one, measure your real RAM latency. Baseline first. Before changing anything, you need real data. If you don't measure memory latency before and after applying tweaks, you'll never know which changes actually helped and which ones did nothing. This step gives you a clear baseline to compare against. Download AIDA64 or LatencyMon. AIDA64 measures raw memory latency in nanoseconds, giving you a direct look at how fast your RAM responds. Run AIDA64's memory benchmark and write down your reported latency value. Typical results look like this. 70 nanoseconds plus is slow for gaming. 60 to 65 nanoseconds is acceptable. Below 60 nanoseconds is responsive. Mid 50s or lower is excellent. Even a small improvement of 5 to 10 nanoseconds can remove thousands of CPU wait cycles every frame. That reduction directly improves responsiveness and smoothness, which is why memory latency often matters more than raw FPS numbers. Step 2. The one BIOS setting that actually matters, command rate. This is the only BIOS change we're making, and it's the one that delivers real results without risking stability. You don't need to touch voltages, frequencies, or advanced memory timings. Reboot your system and enter the BIOS, then navigate to your RAM or DRAM settings section. The exact menu name varies by motherboard, but it's usually under memory or overclocking options. Look for the setting called Command Rate, or CR. Most systems default to 2T because it's easier on memory controllers and maximizes compatibility. However, for gaming, 2T adds unnecessary latency that directly affects responsiveness. Change the setting from 2T to 1T. What this change does? Reduces the number of clock cycles RAM waits before executing commands lowers overall memory access latency without increasing RAM speed or voltage, improves system responsiveness, frame time consistency, and input feel. This single change often provides a noticeable latency reduction, especially in CPU-bound or memory-sensitive games. Most modern DDR4 and DDR5 kits handle 1T perfectly fine at stock speeds, particularly on updated BIOS versions. If your system fails to boot or becomes unstable after the change, revert the setting back to 2T. Stability always comes before performance. Once set, save and reboot and do not modify any other memory timings. Everything else stays at stock to ensure reliability while still gaining the latency benefit. Step 3. Fix Windows Memory Behavior – Registry Tweaks That Matter Now, we address the real bottleneck – Windows Memory Management itself. Out of the box, Windows is tuned for general-purpose workloads, not low-latency gaming. 
It aggressively pages memory to disk, deprioritizes system cache, and makes background decisions that increase memory access latency right when games need fast, consistent access. These registry tweaks correct that behavior and force Windows to treat memory the way a gaming system should. Press WinR, type RegEdit, and navigate to this path. Apply the following changes carefully. Disable Paging Executive. Create or modify the following value. Disable Paging Executive equals 1. By default, Windows allows critical kernel and driver code to be paged out to disk. During gameplay, this can cause sudden stalls when that code needs to be loaded back into RAM. Setting this to 1 forces essential system code to remain resident in memory at all times. Less paging means fewer disk accesses, lower latency, and smoother performance under load. Enable large system cache. Create or modify. Large system cache equals 1. This setting allows Windows to allocate more RAM to system and file caching. For games, this means more assets can stay in memory instead of being constantly reloaded from disk. Optimize second-level cache awareness. Create or modify. Second-level data cache equals your CPU's L2 cache size in kilobytes. This value helps Windows make smarter scheduling and memory placement decisions based on your CPU's cache hierarchy. When set correctly, it improves how efficiently data is fed to the CPU cores. Step 4. Eliminate standby memory and compression latency. Even after registry-level fixes, Windows still performs two behaviors that can hurt gaming responsiveness. It hoards standby memory instead of releasing it instantly. It compresses memory under load, adding extra CPU work and latency. Both can cause brief stalls during asset streaming, map traversal, or heavy multitasking. This step eliminates those delays safely. Intelligent Standby List Cleaner (ISLC). Windows often keeps large amounts of memory in a standby state instead of freeing it when games need RAM immediately. ISLC forces Windows to release that memory without delay. Download ISLC from Wagnartsoft. Set the following options. Free memory is lower than 1024 megabytes. Enable Start Minimized. Enable Auto Start Monitoring. These settings ensure standby memory is cleared instantly when available RAM drops, preventing stutters caused by delayed memory allocation. ISLC runs silently in the background and only acts when needed. This alone can noticeably reduce hitching in open world and asset heavy games. Disable memory compression, high RAM systems. If you have 16 gigabytes of RAM or more, Windows memory compression often does more harm than good. Compression saves RAM at the cost of extra CPU cycles, which increases latency during gaming. Open PowerShell as administrator and run these commands. If memory compression shows as enabled, disable it with this command. Restart your PC after running the command. Disabling compression reduces CPU overhead and prevents latency spikes during memory pressure, especially when games rapidly load and unload assets. How to revert, re-enable memory compression. If you notice instability or simply want to return Windows to its default behavior, you can re-enable memory compression at any time. Open PowerShell as administrator and run. Restart your PC to apply the change. Step 5. Validate, stress test, and lock it in. Now we confirm the gains. Rerun ADA64. Compare your latency numbers. Expect 5 to 15 nanoseconds improvement. Some systems see even more. Run latency mod. Let it run for 5 to 10 minutes while gaming, watching video, alt tabbing. You should see lower DPC slash ISR spikes, fewer memory related warnings, frame time consistency, mouse responsiveness, asset streaming smoothness, FPS might not skyrocket, but smoothness absolutely will. If your BIOS supports it, save this configuration as a profile so you can restore it instantly after updates or CMOS resets. You didn't overclock anything. You didn't push unsafe voltages. You didn't rely on placebo tweaks. You simply removed hidden memory latency that Windows and default BIOS settings leave behind by fixing command rate, correcting Windows memory behavior, eliminating standby and compression delays, validating with real tools. You turned your RAM from good on paper into actually responsive in games. If this helped you, drop a like, comment your before and after latency numbers, and subscribe for more deep level performance guides like this. Stay smooth. I'll see you in the next one.